Hello class, welcome to the online teaching services of St. Thomas High School, Mahua. Today, I, Rita Parekh, am here to further continue with the subject of social science for the students of class 8th. My dear students, we in the previous class completed up to unit number 2, the explanation. Unit number 1st was socio-religious reforms in which we covered each and every head and each and every reformer who tried to reform the society. So let's today I am sharing a PDF file in which the question answers of unit number 1 that is socio-religious reforms is given. So before that I would like to give you the briefing of the chapter, the points which were important and how we can come to know that the reformers took an active participation in order to reform the entire society. So before independence, there were various social evils such as superstitions, doubts, child marriages, denial of widow remarriage, the practices of sati, female infanticides, etc. Renaissance, that is new awakening, came with the western education. Raja Ram Mohan Roy was considered as the first social reformer of the Indian society. He started two magazines that is Samvat Kaumudi in Bengali and Mirato Lakbar in Persian. He also established Brahmo Samaj and Hindu College in Kolkata. So, Raja Ram Mohan Roy requested the British government to legally ban the Sati system and so, in 1829 century era, British governor Lord William Bentick framed a law banning the Sadi system. And thus, in the 19th century, Raja Ramohan Roy laid the foundation of the new awakening with social, religious and political reforms. The very next reformer is Swami Dayanand Saraswati. Swami Dayanand Saraswati preached the people and informed them and encouraged them to go back to Vedas. He said, he advocated monotheism. He made people aware that there is only one God and he established, advised the people to leave the evil practices of idol worship, religious rituals, child marriage, sati system, etc. He also wrote a book of Satyarth Prakash. He established Arya Samaj in Mumbai. And even after the death of Dayanand Saraswati, leaders like Lala Hansraj, Pandit Gurudat, Lala Lajpatrai continued the activities of Arya Samaj. The next reformer was Swami Ramkrishna Paramhans. He is considered as the torchbearer of the Indian culture. He was a great saint who sought truth from all the religions. He was a priest and a staunch devotee at the Kali temple at Dakshineshwar near Kolkata. Swami Vivekananda, whose original name was Narendranath, and he came in contact with Ramkrishna Paramhans who reciprocated his quest for knowledge. Swami Vivekananda advised people to serve the poor and seek the God in needy. He also gave a slogan of Arise, Awake and Stop, Not Till Your Goal is Achieved. In 1897, Swami Vivekananda established Ram Krishna Mission at Kolkata in the name of his Guru. And the slogan of this mission was Service to Man is Service to God. Various reform, reformation movements also took place in Muslim community. The religious and the social reforms were initiated in Muslim community under the leadership of the people like Haji Shiratullah from Bengal, Sir Sahiyad Ahmad Khan from Uttar Pradesh, who were motivated by the by the preaching of the religious leader of Shah Wali, uh, Wali Allah of Delhi. He, they started Wahhabi movement. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan was the first reformer of the Muslim community. He advocated the idea of English education as a means, of, a means to the reform of the Muslim community of its orthodox attitude. Many magazines were also started in order to preach the people and reform the entire society. Jyotiba Phule was the well-known social reformer of Maharashtra. In 1857, he started schools in Pune for girls. To inculcate confidence, courage and enthusiasm in people, he established Satya Shodak Samaj. The very next reformer was Thakar Bapa. 
Thakur Baba was born in Bhavnagar in 1869. He was inspired by Gandhi ji and left his lucrative engineering job to service the drowned trodden so- people of the society throughout his life. He established Panch Mahal Bheel Seva Mandal and he contributed as a head of Akhil Hind Harijan Samaj, established by Gandhi ji as a very valuable for the upliftment of untouchables. So dear students, here we are. at the end of this revision along with this video i am sharing a pdf file in which the question answers of this chapter is given so do write the question answers in your fair book and start studying the same for your upcoming exams so till then stay at your home stay safe thank you